What's up? Yeah. That's right. You probably don't recognize me in the high dell. <laughs> oh, I, excuse me, I got something in my teeth here. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> oh, don't. No. Please, don't. Don't. No. Don't. So here's the thing. I, I don't know. I, this is probably kids look away. Uh, <laughs> see, usually I, I do the I do the wavy the wavy crocodile. It's my thing, right? And then we moved to high def. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they had meetings and everything. Everybody had meetings and all the CBS people <laughs> had meetings about wavy the wavy crocodile. And they said, Oh no, for high def, you're going to need a longer crocodile. <laughs> I can't get the damn thing on my arm. It looks like I've been eaten by a crocodile from the other end. Wait, I can make them make out. Hold on, stay there. We'll see if we can do the crocodile and the high def crocodile. And scene. What to do, everybody? Hello. My name is Charles. <laughs> what to do, Charles, buddy? <laughs> yes. You're smaller than me because you're in crapo vision. <laughs> but as I am in high definition. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> as you as are you as turned on as I am? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. Just to let you know that Wavy and Charles are now in Vermont and they're happily married. <laughs> we'll be back in a minute. The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. That you have to keep cheering, you don't have to keep cheering <laughs> or laughing, you don't have to cheer or laugh. No matter what the professional warm up comedian has told you, <laughs> no matter what he says, laugh or we'll cut you. <laughs> Do you know what? It's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. It's, it's Friday. Friday, the end of a long, the end of a long week this week. We've had a very difficult week this week. The whole, this is the first week of shows in high definition, and really, I have absolutely no difference, I've noticed. None at all. 
<laughs> and also, we've been trying to have Jason Ritter on the show every night this week. We've been trying to have Jason on, and every night I've been talking too long, but finally tonight. Yeah. 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 Wait, wait, wait. I said that last night as well. Let's just see how it goes. <laughs> It's been a big long week though. We've called it Jason Ritter Week. We made a graphic. Didn't we make a graphic? Look at it. Yeah. Jason Ritter Man, that high def graphics, you, it's like they're in the room with you. <laughs> it's like it's like the crappy unprofessional attitude is right in your living room. <laughs> You know what else happened this week? Madonna released a new single this week, Celebration. <laughs> the, song, the song's all right, but, but the, the video is very sexy. I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it shows Madonna doing a very dirty dancing with her hot young boyfriend. We got a clip of the video. Take a look at this. You want to dance? And that's the bit we could show you. <laughs> I'm very excited because there's a big movie opening today I want to see. It's called Gamer. Uh, it's about a guy uh, called Mare who's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know who is the star of the movie, though, Gamer, is uh, uh, Jerry Butler, who's a friend of mine. He's from Scotland. I know him. He's my friend. I call him on the phone. I'm like, hey, how you doing? He's playing Gay Mare. <laughs> No, it's not that. He plays a tough guy. Anyway, he's... Not that you can't be tough and gay. Oh, no. Here come the emails. Oh, no. Well, let me tell you, mister. I'm sorry. Look, if we wrote it down and ran it by a focus group, I'd never make mistakes. But we don't. <laughs> And now some more televis televisation, televisation. <laughs> Sanitised for your convenience. <laughs> no, Gamer. Gamer, it's a, it's a movie, it's, a, it's about uh, people who are trapped in a world ruled by video games. Now, I am old enough to remember when there were no video games. You're like, no way. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> we'd take our buggy to the store. <laughs> No, I, there were no. I remember the beginning of video games. The, I remember the first, the early video games. Boy, they sucked. <laughs> there was a video game called Pong. Yeah, yeah you remember Pong? Oh, for two, 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 two. Yeah, no. I, the thing about Pong was it combined uh, computer technology of the 1970s with the boredom of tennis. <laughs> that was an awful game. You could snort a line of speed and still be bored playing Pong. <laughs> Then the video games got better. The Pong led to Breakout. Breakout led to the Space Invaders. <laughs> and then that led to the most advanced game ever, Ms. Pac-Man. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's the most recent video game I can think of. <laughs> that's me appealing to the young demographic. Oh, kids, don't you love the Ms. Pac-Man? <laughs> I love Ms. Pac-Man, though. She, she wore a little red bow. She ran around circles, gobbled pills, got chased by ghosts. It was my, my life in the 1980s was just like that. <laughs> Today the video games are very, very violent. You know, I, I don't play them, but I, I, don't, I don't agree with people who say uh, they want them banned. You shouldn't ban video. People say that the violent video games turn the players into aggressive killers. And then other people say, ah, they turn people into couch potatoes. And you have to make up your mind. You can't be both. <laughs> I'd love to kill that guy, but I just want to sit here in my ass. Uh, when I get finished with this game, I'm going to go out on a killing spree. Come on. One or the other. I think it's true. I mean, the idea... The idea that people imitate whatever they see in video games is ridiculous. After Donkey Kong came out, there was not one case of an Italian plumber jumping over barrels, fighting gorillas. <laughs> oh, what's the coming of go, King Kong? <laughs> <laughs> What's a coming to go, King Kong? I think I insulted everybody there, didn't I? 
Well, we'll run it by the focus group, see how we're doing. Anyway, last year, uh, Congress considered outlawing the game Grand Theft Auto because in the game you do drugs, you rob people, you even hire prostitutes. And I'm thinking, well, what's the problem? These are skills you need in real life. <laughs> and you would think, and you would think that certain congressmen would know that, wouldn't you? <laughs> but no. And let me tell you, and let me just say, when I was a young man, we didn't have a video game to teach us how to hire prostitutes. We had to learn the old-fashioned way. <laughs> from, a, from our creepy uncle. <laughs> a wise man once said, give a man a hooker and he'll have fun for a night. But teach a man how to hire a hooker and he'll have fun for a lifetime. <laughs> and, that, and the man that said that was... Charlie Sheen. Oh, no, no, he's on... No, no, he didn't. He's on CBS. He didn't say that. I tell you... <laughs> I'll tell you who said it. It was the governor of your state. Uh, the local affiliates can add later the actual name. You know the big video game now is Rock Band, where you pretend to be a rock star by playing along to someone else's music. And the, the, it's like... The, this is, they do the same thing on an American Idol, right? And people say... <laughs> This is my big break. Yeah, like everybody else that was on American Idol. Good for you. <laughs> people say, people say they like rock band because it makes playing the drums easy, right? And I get news for you. I used to earn my living playing the drums. Playing the drums is, in real life, pretty easy. <laughs> I could play the drums when I was drunk. <laughs> Technically, that makes it easier than talking. <laughs> now, for example, I, don't, I mean no offence when I say this, right, but you take the drummer of Def Leppard, right? <laughs> now, he, he had a terrible accident. He, 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 had, he only has one arm. He lost half his arms. And he still plays drums in the band, and he's great! <laughs> I went too far, didn't I? <laughs> we'll take a break. I'll get fired. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show where we care. <laughs> Do you watch the uh, CBS Cares things with CBS Cares? Do you want to know something? They don't. <laughs> well, they care about you, obviously. I mean, you represent, you're the consumer, you're the customer. They love you. Me, they don't care. <laughs> don't care about me. Don't you dare do that! <laughs> like, would you do that for in somebody's real life if they said, oh, God, something really bad happened to me? Do you go, oh... <laughs> Actually, people do do that, don't they? They go, oh, and these people are called morons. <laughs> you know, if something bad happens, happens to you, you could maybe say, you know, if someone said, come up and said, oh, you know, no, nobody cares about me, you could say, you need to see a psychiatrist. <laughs> Or you could say, uh, I'm going to start giving out relationship advice like everyone else on TV. You know what I, th I like about TV? You don't have to be in any way qualified to say anything about any old crap. You can just open your mouth and light your... It doesn't matter. You know, you can just say, let me tell you what you need to do. And why do I know that? Because I'm a high school dropout who's been divorced twice. <laughs> Uh, I'm all right with it, actually. I, I'm okay with, you know, with things right now, really. I, I, I think I'm all right. Do you know what they... Do you ever watch the show on the HBO? Um, it's... I don't, because I only watch CBS, but there's a... <laughs> but the, the show, the therapy show, when the, the, they do... There's a, the guy, the, the therapist, Gabriel Byrne. People used to say to me, you look a bit like Gabriel Byrne. It's before I got old and tired looking. <laughs> And, and, uh, and I watch the show and it's about therapy and I, I go to a therapist and, uh, and every time I go she says, will you get out of my garden? <laughs> I'm not actually a customer, I'm stalking her. 
<laughs> no, I, I go to a therapist and I say things like, oh, you know, it was, uh, you know, my childhood is pretty tough. And uh, all the stuff you can read about in my upcoming autobiography, American On Purpose, which is available uh, from September the uh, 22nd. Yes, yes. Thank you for applauding my shameless plug. But... <laughs> So anyway, I, I tell her all the stuff is in that, and you know what, she's a very, very talented woman. You know, she listens to what I have to say, and I tell her about the difficulties of my life, and how I've gone through so many trials and tribulations, and, and you know what she does? She hears it, and then she goes, aww. <laughs> and I leave there a little bit taller, and a little bit poorer. Craig, are you mocking your therapist? No. Are you mocking therapy? No. Are you talking to yourself? Yes. <laughs> but at least I'm agreeing with me. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back with the emails, everybody. CBS cares. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, this is, here's our, uh, do we have time for emails? Yep. Uh, <laughs> this is from Sean and Kelly. Uh, that's, uh, they got together and wrote an email. <laughs> They're like the Simon and Garfunkel of the internet. <laughs> Sean and Kelly in Grand Junction in Colorado. Uh, they said, Craig, why do women pluck off their eyebrows and then draw in ridiculous fake ones? <laughs> I, don't think that's, I don't think that's women you're thinking of. I think that's clowns. <laughs> I think you've mixed women up with clowns. <laughs> anyway, and they've also got a PS. They say, we want more wavy. Uh, you know, wavy the wavy crocodile. Well, I've got good news for you. Uh, not only is there wavy, but look, you got another, but another. <laughs> look, at look how much more wavy you got. That's the miracle of high def for you. <laughs> um, I don't know what that is. Uh, all right. Um, this is from Tessa in Ottawa, um, which is in Can Canada. Um, <laughs> Tessa says, hello, Craig. I just saw my neighbor do a striptease through their open bedroom window as I walked by. <laughs> this, is, this is no part of Canada I've ever been to. <laughs> I was torn on whether I should tell the whole street so they could see, uh, or, or I was torn whether I, could, I should tell her the whole street could see or mind my own business. I left them alone. What would you have done? Oh, I'd, have, I'd have recorded it. <laughs> I would have done them a favor, I'd have put it on the YouTube. <laughs> People love that when you sneakily record them and put them on YouTube. <laughs> All right, this is, uh, this is from Joe Bob in Hicksville, Kentucky. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Maybe it's Joe and Bob got together to write a... Uh... Anyway, uh, Joe Bob says, yee-haw. That's how he starts, yee-haw. All right. <laughs> how are you doing? All right, get on with it. Uh, my, my pa tells me you were once a member of the Sex Pistols. <laughs> <laughs> Which one were you? <laughs> the one with the tongue or the one dressed like a cat? <laughs> 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 you know, <laughs> I get asked this all the time. Huh? <laughs> Man, you know, I used to worry before I went to see a therapist. I used to worry. I used to worry that I was crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm just like you. <laughs> the cat? <laughs> oh, man, the cat? The cat wasn't even in the village, people. <laughs> I don't even remember the cat. <laughs> Maybe, the, was there a cat in the banana? 
banana splits? I don't even think there was a cat in the banana splits. Damn. We gotta take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. Meow, cheeky monkeys. <laughs> I know. Uh, my uh, my first guest tonight is an actress. She well. used to be the cat in the Sex Pistols. <laughs> She's in the movie Surrogates, which is in theaters September the twenty fifth. Take a look at this. I want you to look for access codes. Thank you. This is Agent Peters. I found Greer. He's been in an accident at Market and Hanover. You're all kind of... I, I mean, high definition. Yeah, boy, well, yes. I have my high definition makeup on and everything. And, and is it different makeup? It's more red, the lips and the, I don't know, the base. I don't know. Ask the makeup is, is artist. It? You know, you I, should start, I should start wearing makeup. <laughs> <laughs> it's very subtle, whatever it is that what, you really? do. What, really? No, yeah. it's just because they go, all right, all right, on you go. Yeah, uh, and you, are, you are looking very high definition. Well, yourself. I am. I'm a very vivid person. But look at you. Uh -huh. You're all, you're all lovely. And is this the Flouncy style now with the flounce? Is the flounce it's, in? It's my feminine nature. I thought I'd flaunt it tonight. Yeah, no, good for you. I'm happy to, <laughs> happy to see it. Oh, well, thank uh, yeah, you. no, I'm very happy. To, I'm, I'm very ha excited about your film because it, it's got Bruce Willis in it, and he never disappoints. No, he is like the consummate action hero. He always like hits the marks. Yeah, you know, and, and he, you know, and the, the car crash, and then you know, he's. But he, I've got a feeling he'll be okay. <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah. you'll have to wait and see. You'll have to go see the film. I mean, it's an interesting role for him. <laughs> <laughs> go see the film. Um, oh, I like your cup. <laughs> <laughs> go see the film? Can't you go be on, more subtle not? than that? Why not go on. see the film? <laughs> no, it's go great. see the film, everybody. Well, no, it's great. It's, it's actually really interesting because you get to see Bruce Willis with a blonde wig. I've seen that. As well. You have never seen yeah. that. You've never seen that. I before. have. I saw, I, saw it, I saw it in a club one night. <laughs> He was researching a role. Okay, he must have yeah. been doing research for this role. Because you see him in, as a robot. He, He's plays a ro a he plays a robot, right? And then what you just saw was him as a human being. How and what you, you saw was me as a robot. Oh. But this is me as a human being. I, <laughs> I can see that very clearly. <laughs> is it when you've got straight hair, you're a robot, and then when you've got curly hair, you're, uh, you're a human being? Is that what it, it is? It is a bit like that, actually. Yes, yeah, I know. I understand how it See, works. It's, it's tricky, but it's quite subtle, because in the movie, I also play a human being, and when I play the human being, I have the curly hair. Different hair. And when I'm a robot, I have the straight, you know. You're giving away the entire the movie. That's People the are going, yeah. point. It's fascinating material. Now, in the movie, but you're not Australian in the movie, are you? Uh, no, I don't get to be, which was unfortunate. I get to play American, though, which was fine. Yeah, that, that's fine. No, we're very happy to have you play an American. I'm an American. Are yeah. you an American yet? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm still not. But you definitely are? Oh, yeah, I did, you know, I did the, and the, all that, yeah. It's, it's nice to be able to be both. In fact, I do look forward to being Australian and American. Are you going to do it then? You're going to become an American I'm citizen? I'm considering it, yeah. I'm not in a hurry, but yeah, why not? Well, you better get, hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> they, they're not letting We're nearly full up. They are, they're yeah. almost full. It's true. Yeah, no, I, I got to get a do move you go on. Back, do you go back to Australia a lot? Do you go there, um... 
Yeah, I was just there. I thought I'd spend my um, summer holidays in the rain in Melbourne. Yeah, because it's mom. winter over there yeah, in the summer. It's the reverse. So it's, just everything's there. upside down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trees still, grow still. underground. And the water goes the, the other way. The water goes the other way. Hole. Which yeah. way does it go here? I don't even know. I just know it goes the other way there. Do you know? I, I haven't does looked at know? it in a long time. <laughs> we could swirl some water that. around no, and yeah. see which way it goes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just kind of moving up and down. Yeah. Over, isn't it? That's, it's because it's LA. It's probably an it's earthquake water. or something. Yeah. Hmm? It is water, not coffee. No, it's not coffee. I, I, can't, I can't, can't drink coffee. CBS and do all budget. This. Yeah, no. <laughs> so you live here in LA then, do you? Yeah, I'm still living in LA. Yeah, yeah, you enjoy you, it? You're living in LA still? Uh, uh, yeah, just over there. <laughs> yeah, I live. Uh, yeah, that Don't way. Don't point out your house and TV. Somewhere. People will be coming around. <laughs> What do you do when you're here? Do you, uh, do you like to go scuba diving and stuff? Um, I, I've been scuba diving once and I, I discovered that I hate scuba diving in the process, but I was in Fiji. Maybe it's Fiji. It's such a horrible place. Fiji's a horrible place? Um, no, no. <laughs> I, I'd heard so many nice things about no, I'm, it. I'm, I'm kidding. I had like two minutes uh, dive, I mean, training and I right. went down and you know, and it, there was beautiful fish and the whole thing was, you know, coming to life and my heart was pumping really fast and I'm like, I'm, I'm not a fish. I should definitely not be down what here. What about flying? Go the other, other way. You, you could do that. Well, I heard that you... you uh, I can fly can now, fly yes. Now. I've got a pilot's license. How about that? Well, yeah, that's right. something that I want to do and I live actually near the um, Santa Monica airport. Right. I hear that it's quite inexpensive to take flying lessons. Yeah, it's not that expensive. No, it's certainly not if long. I give you the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> and, here, and, here's, and here's why. A, uh -huh. it's illegal. And <laughs> that makes it exciting. That brings the price right down. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not but how qualified. long did it take you to learn how to fly? Well, I don't know. I mean, because I, I, I got busy and I went away. I, I started on my 45th birthday. I'm 47 now and I just got my license. But I, there were bits I in between. I can't believe you're 47. Yeah, no, no. Impossible. Uh-huh. Yeah, all right. <laughs> But you can fly. Uh, all right. Is that, yeah, is yeah. that like a midlife crisis thing? Go see the movie. <laughs> no, but I think I might be having a midlife crisis as well because I want to learn how to fly. Wait, wait. I didn't learn because it was a midlife crisis. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know. I just thought it might be somewhat connected. You know, no, like, no. I learned because it was an ambition. I always no, The reason I took yeah. flying lessons is because I was frightened of flying. Okay. And I don't like being frightened. Are you frightened of diving? Scuba diving? Yeah, scuba Not anymore, I can oh, do it. Can do yeah, it. no, I, I'm only frightened of things I can't do. Right now I'm frightened of hosting a talk show. Oh. <laughs> I would be terrified of hosting a talk no, show. No, it's terribly difficult. Um, no, I have flying, it's on, it's on a list of, like I have a list as well. With, um, do you have like a bucket list? Do. Yeah, it's kind of like a bucket list, but I have like belly dancing and surfing and then flying. Surfing's pretty good. I like yeah. surfing. Well, I, I sort of went surfing the other day and I knelt on the board. So I guess flying... And the board was in the water? Next. The board was... <laughs> yeah, it was. And you're it, you're almost a, there. It opens up your whole perspective on the city because I live, you know, by the beach and to be able to surf in the water is a yeah. whole different thing. Could right? watch for the, uh, you know... <laughs> the dumping or the... Not dumping, no, no. Well, sort of. Yeah. But uh, no, the yeah, what they the call sharks. Them? That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. they have them. You uh, you have them in Australia, of course. Yeah, they're, yeah. Uh, they're, uh, they're, they're, there's an infestation of them in Australia, isn't there? The creatures live there. Yeah, they. Yeah, they're in the lot. ocean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're not. They don't live in the the city. They then. haven't started flying yet. Flying shark? That'd be terrifying. Like flying along, then this scary, shark right? coming after you. Ah! <laughs> God, you, whoa. whoa! Yeah, that's a that's whole different. We're out of time. Like We're out of time, rather. Oh God! I know. I hate this bit it. because I, I never know how to end it. See, I, I don't, don't know, know how to host a talk show. I don't know how to end the bit. But I feel like talking. But you yeah, know, they could, got to sell. We could really just keep going. Oh well, go see the movie. <laughs> <laughs> we'll end it on that. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has finally arrived. The final moment of Jason Ritter week. Please, maybe on the graphic. Da -da, da -da, da -da. My 
next guest is an actor. Can you guess who it might be? <laughs> he stars in a, a new movie, uh, Jason. Uh, it, it's a movie called uh, Good Dick. <laughs> I, I thought I saw that movie. Uh, well. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, just been released on the DVD. Uh, we are very excited to uh, welcome him here. Take, take a look at this uh, from the movie. <laughs> That's not the one I saw. <laughs> Shut up. Please welcome Jason Ritter, everybody. Jason Ritter. Jason. Jason, it's so good to see you, and thanks for coming back. Thank you. Um, this, uh, this movie, um, you want to talk me through this uh, here? <laughs> It's a title. It's just a, it's just a regular title. It's provocative, title. though. You it's, must admit, it's provocative. It's provocative, but you can always, you know, tell people that get uncomfortable with it that it's about a detective who's very proficient in his job. And, and is it? No. Right. No, it's, it's, a, it's about that. It's, but it, what is that, really? Let's, let's explore what that means. You see what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right here, right now. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's explore it within the confines of network television. Let's explore it. <laughs> All right. All right, explain it to me then. Oh. Within the confines of network television. <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. Um, you well, started I think, it. I, th I, think, I think a lot of people think they know what that is. And then I think a lot of other, like, I think a lot of men think they know what that means. And I think a lot of women have another definition of what that means. <laughs> so let's all just talk about it. <laughs> In other words, don't read, like, what you hear it to do in bed in Maxim Magazine, and then someone else is reading what to do in bed in Cosmopolitan Magazine and just do steps one through six and hope it works out. It does work out. Though. Oh, it does? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Well, I think, I think uh, good sex is what we're talking about. Then the sexual technique, because people, are, people are, are, are obsessed with sexual technique. They I, can. I, I, and, I, and when I say people, I mean me. I, <laughs> that, but I don't... Are you saying it cannot be taught? No, I'm just saying. It, I, I'm just saying. Let's let's communicate. You know. Let's uh, let's talk about. I guess. I guess what I'm trying to say is that th this movie. Are you sure you're really a guy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be. <laughs> I'm trying to be. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So. So you think men and women could communicate better of being open and frank about well, sex? I think they tried that in the 60s and it didn't work. <laughs> I know. It yeah. 60s make me a little uncomfortable. It sort of grosses me out. Yeah, a lot, like... a lot of body hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that part doesn't bother me. Well, what, just, what does then? Just all the drugs and the, the just like everyone loving each other but in a, in a druggy kind of way. No, that was the good part. <laughs> it just... I don't know. I, don't, I was eight when the 60s ended. <laughs> And also, the 60s never really happened in Scotland. They didn't? Nah. We went from 1950 to 1950. <laughs> well, that's good. But isn't, you, isn't your young lady, and in fact, who's in the movie, and who wrote the movie, isn't she Scottish? She is Scottish. Yes. She's from Glasgow. Yeah. That's where I'm from. I know. How come she knows about sex, then? She... <laughs> Well, it's, uh, I, guess, I guess it's something that they teach you in Glasgow. No, sir. No? Well, then what's a Glasgow kiss? A Glasgow kiss is a headbutt, as I you that. well know. <laughs> I did know that. Yeah. Which is not a lot of people enjoy. Some people enjoy that during sex, but not many. Uh, <laughs> have you been to Glasgow? Have you been yeah, there? I've been there a lot. I, yeah? I love it there. It's, what it's part beautiful. of Glasgow do you like? Where do you, where do you go drinking when you go to Glasgow? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I see you really have been to Glasgow. <laughs> yes. That was my test question. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I, I had a real tough time keeping up. I eventually realized that you just have to leave one drink full so that no one buys you another one, which is hard. You want to keep... Well, you especially know, you, with uh, being American, people would be very excited. Look, you with your wide array of teeth. They'd be like, whoa! <laughs> Let's check this guy 
guy with his white AF teeth. That's what one guy, actually, one guy came up to me and said, you're not from around here, are you? I said, no. How could you tell? And he said, because you're nashers. Yeah, you're too. <laughs> I got mine whitened recently. You did? Yeah, you ever had that done? Uh, I sometimes put white toothpaste on my... <laughs> but I've never gotten it whitened. I, I got the full... Uh, oh, they the shine a big light in your mouth? I think it was a light. And they... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they shine a big light in your mouth. And, and afterwards, you're like, oh, man, that's really... Sore? Yeah. Hurts? Yeah, but... But your teeth get whiter. Well, it's a small price to pay, I guess. That is, actually. <laughs> I, 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 are you dentally obsessed? Uh, no, I, I um, and I probably should be more. I always get in no, trouble for flossing. you lovely teeth. are you talking about? You're I know, but I hate flossing. Well, who likes flossing? Who I likes get, flossing? It's like you go to the dentist, and the, the dental, the, the assistant dentist, the lady, uh, usually in my dentist, the lady says... Sarah. Sarah I think that's her name. How did you know? <laughs> I don't know. I'll just help And she out. says, have you been flossing? And I say, yeah. And she goes, oh, good. And then if I say no, she goes, oh, you might flaws, but she doesn't seem to be able to tell from oh. my teeth. Well, that's a, that's a good thing. Or maybe it's not a very good dental assistant. Because I, I go in there and I, I say, I, I try Sarah, to Sarah, you, Sarah does you, Sarah? <laughs> yeah, she's great. Yeah, yeah. She's the only person in Los Angeles. Right. No, and I, and she, but she, I always say, yeah, yeah, you know, I kind of do it. And she can tell that I just flossed like three times that morning and that's <laughs> it. She sounds good. Is she a detective? She's, yeah, she's, she's pretty no, good. Listen, so and then she, like, embarrasses me. She's like, look what was in between your teeth. Really? Oh, look, I have found a corn. <laughs> <laughs> no, none of that horrible. So, no, what, what was it like now? Because uh, uh, Mariana, who's yeah. uh, your, your, your uh, girlfriend? Yes. Um, how long has she been your girlfriend? Uh, ten years. <laughs> <laughs> and how did you manage that? Uh, 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 she's a pretty incredible lady. I think if I... I think if, if something ever happened between us, then I would be like, oh, she was the one that got away, so I just don't let her get away. That's what I... Very nice. Well, that's, that's one way to do it. That's a good way to do it. That's, that's a great way to do it. I'd, I'd hate to put you on the spot no, or anything like no. that. I'd never do that. No, you know, not but... at all. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what's it like working with her then? Was she like was she, she wrote the movie, so she'd kind of like be your boss a little bit. Yeah, she wrote and directed it, and yeah, yeah. she she, she told directed me it what too. To do. Yeah, oh, she's definitely your boss. Then. Yeah, yeah. She she did she did pretty much everything, and it was a lot of fun. I was a little nervous at first, but she was very nice. She was. Are we still gentle. talking about the movie here, or are we? Uh... <laughs> Yes, yes, but in general, she's very... No, she's very pleasant. I've met her. She's a very nice woman. Yeah, she And is. she's Scottish. Yeah, which is the best part. Yeah. It's the coolest thing ever. Actually, that's, that's not the best part. That's not the best part? Why? Scott, being Scottish is great. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself. No, I'm just, I'm just saying, it's okay. <laughs> All right. No need to make a song and dance about these things, you know? It's very un-Scottish to be happy about stuff. I, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've noticed that. There's pleasure it's true, in I being... can snatch misery from anything, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, is she like that too? Because I'm Scottish people are very like that. She she can she can do that, but I think she's a she's a sort of an anomaly. She's a very positive person who's come from there. Which is why she I think partly why she had to come here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm familiar with the condition. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. laughs> we gotta go, Jason. Alice, it's, oh. it's lovely to see you and, and good luck with the movie. Thanks for coming Thank back you so again. Much. Jason Thanks, later, everybody. A fitting and exciting end to Jason Rutherwick. Good night, everybody. Good night.